Dear mothers of England, your soldier sons send their fond love to you overseas this Christmas day. In the chorus we now sing. Seated round the campfire on a Christmas day, a band of British soldiers in a land so far away are longing for their loved ones in the dear homeland to wish them Merry Christmas and take them by the hand. As the campfire burns every soldier yearns for the dear ones far away. God bless mother, father, sister, brother, and all on Christmas Day. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. December 24th. 1914. I have got a select little party together who, led by my stentorian voice, are going to take a position in our trenches where we are closest to the enemy, about 80 yards, and from 10 p.m. onwards we are going to give the enemy every conceivable song in harmony, from carols to Tipperary. My fellows are most amused with the idea and will make a rare noise when we get at it. Our object will be to drown the now too familiar strains of Deutschland uber alles and the Wacht an Rhein we hear from their trenches every evening. Captain Sir Edward Holtz, Scots Guards. And a happy Christmas to you, Prince. Don't know, eat yourself with all these sausages. <laughs> hey, Tommy, come over here. Come over here yourself. <laughs> it was Christmas Day in the cookhouse, the happiest day of the year. Men's hearts are full of gladness and their bellies full of beer. When up spoke Private Shorthouse, his face is bold as brass. What did he say? Saying we don't want your Christmas pudding, you can stick it up your heart. <laughs> Saying, what do you want for Christmas, boys? And the eunuchs answered. Oh. 